Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, as always, and we are going to continue the uh, legendary Iron Man Long War of the Chosen uh, playthrough. Well, 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 the problem with kind of force ratings 8, 9, what are we even clocking at the moment, is that each of the missions are just becoming incredibly difficult. Uh, specifically if we look at here resistance management new india right so that's uh, the thing advent is popping in with a very moderate 10 strength 17 vigilance so double digit strengths we need to free uh, india asap to just get rid of uh, that as you can see the others with their advent strengths easy peasy lemon squeezy but uh, this is not and one of the issues that you're then running into is you're having missions like this where you're essentially fully infiltrated just barely shy off and you're still uh, working against 21 enemies plus the lost plus many of them are psionically active yay big congratulations to us we just need to i think get through that uh could boost it but i don't want uh, to do that instead we're just grabbing fewer crates and that's going to be it i think we're targeting two to three crates let's use that as a baseline all right we landed 14 turns fixed evac zone and two four five five potential crates hmm well I think now is a good time for Oscar Mike and to let Axe be the scout. I've got enemy moving here. Whoa. Hold your pants there, big boy. Two, four, wow. Uh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, well, the moment that we step up to here, we already trigger them. All right, move to there. Heads begins to move to there. This here should not trigger. Ah, I don't believe that. Not for a second. Sure thing. It is clear. On Overwatch. I'm on it. Overwatch. Permanent. Covering now. Wonderful. Enemies are moving slightly back. And more sectors. This is a freaking nightmare map. sure if this is going to hit but we might give it a try if it hits it's going to be good well this way it's only seven points of damage but okay it's start Starting to deal with the sector. Negative damage. Good. 
Good, this definitely will trigger the other pack, but we also need to start killing stuff. Good action rope. Gets another attempt. Good body shield here and big fat area suppression over here. Copy that, suppressing target. What's over there? Not the greatest flank in history, but I think this is still going to work well. Alright. Every single priest could stasis, uh, that will be a such a fantastic experience. Heads did an enormous amount of damage, really well done. Good. I was sort of expecting two rounds of stasis to come in. And funnily enough, that was the body, uh, the body uh, shield that I put up and it didn't work out. So we got Bladestorm here. We might need to just accept that we're going to Lose concealment. Great loot. That would push us into the open, but we would kill two, so I think that's still a fair trade. Again, area suppression. The losses are coming in at the right time-ish. Right time, right-ish time. Stasis also ends, we're good. Could have been a kill if the grappler would have gotten him. Wow, 
they are reanimating zombies and making them stronger. Okay, this has just become even more interesting. <laughs> We are immune to acid. Yeah, I think we're immune to acid, which means I don't need to fear that stupid lost. But we are not counterattacking, are we? No. Might want to kill the might want to kill the mutant there i tell you what taxia needs extra hit points we'll do that anyways That's a two for one. How many is that now? Affirmative, moving out. Full cover. Priest is burning and therefore very much out of the fight for the next two rounds. Reloading. Sidewinder body shield. Suppressioning. Could we should we kill the Naja? Yeah, there are advantages for it. She deals a lot of damage, but the mutant, on the other hand, could come up where we do have uh, iron skin, so melee attack uh, damage is reduced by three. That might not be too bad to be in the middle here. Naja, okay. I think the Sidewinder is the bigger problem. Unfortunately, a miss. Okay, they do have. We do have losts, which are helping us because they will draw fire.
All right, at least the extra hit points worked very well. This guy isn't doing much. Melee attack mutant. Takes a slap from uh, the grappler first. For slicing him down. Viper sniper. Does exactly that. No overwatch shot, the only one. We do have the mark of facts, right? Immune to poison and acid, okay, that would be good. So see in front of us a grappler? Okay. <laughs> Oh, look at you. Beautiful. A turret. Ready to rock. Nacha, Sidewinder, I think I'll go for the Sidewinder because we don't have a lot of other right. operatives that can go for it at the moment. Moves into full cover. Barely not. That's so disappointing. But I could hit a mutant. On my way. Mutant takes damage, but is not dead. This would kill him and I'll just take the kill, to be honest. That'll cost us one point of damage. Or zero, because the guy misses. Kill the turret. Let's get the Viper. Seven, two, four, six, seven. But we do have Blade Storm. On the other hand, this is a very secure kill. Went off the armor. 
and one where we're even immune to its stupid it's a stupid asset Not sure if he will take enough burning damage. Yeah, he does, but it's sustenance time, right? Call it. What a massive fight so far. Let's see that we can take control. Over this here. All right, I'll go. Okay, it didn't trigger anything. Nice little hit. over there heads needs to reload and I don't want to lose momentum so I actually would want to move him further Good, let's kill that priest and get the crates, plus then hopefully move out. Luckily we only need the entire team to overwatch in order to get a priest. <laughs> Alright, got some loot here. I want to take that and then continue to move deeper into the actual building. Of course, want to take high ground if possible. Exenroth can take the low ground in the meantime. Got it. Moving. Covering now. Okay. Yeah. Overwatch wherever possible. Reloaded. Maybe a little bit of a reload. are coming in lots of crates here in the middle Ready to rock. I hope it's worth it Taxia moves up Might merge with Ataxia so that we can stand in the middle of all of them. And fully utilize Bladestorm. Good, R Big Brute is down, I like it. On my way. A 
let's kill the remaining uh, ones. Very good. We'll take the crates here. There'll be one, two, three, four. Then move up and run out. Good, Bladestone killed. Texia got some resources. We're doing very well so far. Okay. Let's grab some of these things. I'd like to see if there is anything upstairs. No. Okay. I hope it's worth it. Absolutely. Heading out. I've got eyes on an advent position. Oh. Let's do this and we are very much suppressing. Stun Lancer crowd control. Didn't really work. Stupid stasis, like always. Still at the penalty, couldn't really hit us. Down. Okay, Stan Lanza learned his lesson. Sergeant did not yet. Not a problem. I've got the loot here. 
moves up, that will give us an overwatch. Suppressing the sergeant further. That'll kill the priest if he moves. Get the sergeant. All right, he's almost down. And that should be a kill. Well, should have, could have, would have. That is a kill. One down, thousands to go. Getting it done. Let's do this. On my way. Okay. Look, now is a really good time to reload. Commander, we're losing the AO and our forces in the process. I'd strongly advise we consider pulling the squad out of there. What's over there? Got it. Running. Uh, I'm trusting you here. Okay, we're rushing towards the exit as always. And more losses are coming. And the eight shot missed for good measure at the very end. I, got I imagine all of them shooting onto that one lost and then realizing how futile it is. Thirty-five. <laughs> wow, just wow. On the other hand, the melee weapons are fire, like ten plus points of damage. Wow. Just imagine, everything would be dealing that much damage. Wow. Alright, Axenrod, 
Definitely Blade Master. Seer Kim could use 45. That isn't bad either. He has a lot of nice defensive skills. I think I'll just wait until he gets a defensive skill. Good, then we got uh, Williams here. Didn't have locked on, which made the whole thing more difficult than it needed to be. Hail of Bullets is not bad for a gunner. That is also not bad. I think I'll just wait for it. Eight days of rest for Ataxia, who has done a really nice job. I think we're going for Reaper. By the way, not picking combative might have been a mistake here. I know I wanted to build him up as kind of a gunner, but uh, the sword is super strong. Good, we're taking Shredder. That isn't bad. is very very good just less damage overall for 10 points it's a steal should have gotten center mask by the way uh, I mean at the moment competitive uh, had, had helped us but still center mask isn't uh, is potentially the better uh, way there precision shot is good I think we're taking Will to survive. And this here could be good in order to make him move from time to time. The combat knife isn't great, but if you want to move and deal damage at the same time, can make for a really good positioning. I wonder if I should take uh, Flash or Fliché. Enemy damage should reduce by one. Power against explosive indirects calculated from the point of explosion. Permanently gain five will. Hmm. I think we're using Fliché, that with Combative together, I can see use cases for it. Good, plenty of stuff that we got. And in terms of training, we're fine. I wonder, here's the deal. We got one scientist on Intel. And we need it down here for the liberation. Yeah. I don't want to go lower than six scientists at the moment. No, uh, three is all we can afford. Psy training needs to take its time then.
That isn't bad at all. This is fantastic. Something is at a hundred percent, correct? Yep, up here, smash and grab. Okay. Um, Haven management still looks fine. I like that this training here is uh, continuing very well. 100%. 100%. Okay, we have a lot of missions that ca could go now. West Africa, okay, Pfft, yeah, we don't have access to that yet. Could we get another scientist here? Wouldn't be bad at all. And uh, we got the Grey Knights part two that are getting that prisoner. Good, we got one more trainable uh, Psy operative. The other one will, uh, Toxic will, uh, will be free after the mission and hopefully will have had a promotion. Fuse Fortress. Yeah, I've, I've taken Fortress many, many times at the very beginning. Simply because it is so good to be immune to everything. And the base skills already rock. They are absolute, They are rock solid. Like, uh, you have a damage skill. Um, insanity can be spent every single round. Mind Merge doesn't end your turn. You have a, a gun. From the get-go, they are very, very strong. Don't have any recruits. It's unfortunate. In terms of research, just double checking. Next up would be Alarium. I like the armors as well, but I think we're going with Alarium. We have good enough armor for now. You shouldn't say that uh, so lightly. Battle armor is actually quite good, and the mobile armor is fantastic for grappling hook um, that in itself is awesome so building a couple of them will greatly enhance our ability to work on the battlefield on the other hand Elarium leads to coil uh, weapons and coil weapons are important because I'm seeing uh, the trend uh, that the enemy is getting more and more hit points and we are not fully keeping up uh, with the amount of hit points so granted we all have laser weapons and I haven't super deep invested into the magnetic tier because out of my last long war experience you basically do Elarium and then you're at coil and you sort of skip magnetic ish you can build a couple of them it's never wrong but um, yeah, the coil weapons are tendentially better on the other hand I won't be able to afford the full set of coil weapons for everyone, so building a couple of magnetics are good. Battle armor is fantastic for uh, technicians because they do have a second rocket available and can use it to their advantage. Um, mobile armor is great for snipers just to get always to the high ground. Yeah, both of them are good. Elarium isn't bad either, so uh those three we would uh, go next but with a purifier we're definitely on the right track i should choose something in proving grounds so
couple more sparks once we do have the funds would be helpful at the moment we do have two we might be we might be getting two further ones uh, quite uh, handy just just to have dreadnoughts in your rosters at the moment i think battlefield medicine might be the way to go uh, that allows us to get better med kits just higher healing without getting us so low that we cannot afford Elarium anymore, which I want to do. Shadowkeeper is good as well, Hunter's X is good. I don't know if they have done a better job with a bolt caster to not make it useless, but Frostbomb most certainly is good. Yeah, there are a couple of really good uh, things here. I will say though, you guys are doing fine at the moment. Appreciate what you're doing. Let's finish that. And start excavating there. What I'm hoping to get out of it is more resources that we can uh, spend. Also, we want to build uh, the um the next um what's it called power relay yep the next power relay here and then we're going to build defense matrix plus shadow chamber i think that's immediately necessary necessary but we're going to get quite a bit of resources out of this uh, out of it this year for instance gives us uh, alloys that we need and around 100 supplies so that's good can use uh, that to our advantage. Cool. That's it, guys. That was it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy uh, Long War of the Chosen, leave a comment and a like down below, and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.